Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will be doing the CSEC Biology, May, June 2019, paper one. And if you are visiting my channel for the very first time, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because you are guaranteed you will learn from this channel. You will benefit from it tremendously. Also, please, all of you who watch this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up by pressing the like button. That does well in helping this video going across to as many people as possible in the geographical area. Also, there are ads that will be playing on your videos. I know sometimes they can be annoying. And if you don't want to watch them, what you simply do, just simply take a little break, rejuvenate, and come back again. Because that's all that is required of you, really, just to say thank you for what you are doing for us, preparing us, in helping us to prepare for the upcoming exam. So let's get into this paper. So this is going to be a two-part video. So this is going to be part one. So that is why it's important that you subscribe to know when part two is out. So here we go. The first question says, which of the following features is used to classify a group of organisms as classing sector? This is a popular question, so we don't have to go in depth. We know the answer is going to be D, segments. Two says, which of the following options uh, correctly defines a niche and a habitat? So we know a niche really is A, the role that an organism plays in the habitat in which it lives and the habitat, the place where an organism lives. So right away, the answer is A. Three says, which of the following relationships may present arm to one of the organisms involved? One, commensalism, two, parasitism, three predation so the answer would be two and three so c would be your answer four says which of the following organisms are most important in biodegradation a bacteria b vultures c omnivores d earthworms we know it is a bacteria item five refers to the following food chain which shows the feeding relationship in a fresh water lake, algae to larvae to eel to pike. Which of the fallen organisms is the secondary consumer in the food chain shown above? So is it A, eel, B, pike, C, algae, or D, larvae? We know it is A, eel. Let's go to number six. Item six refers to the fallen diagram which shows energy flow through an ecosystem. So six, the energy flow is not 100% efficient because energy is A, linear, moving from one organism to the next, B, circular, moving in and out of organisms, C, recycled from plants to the atmosphere, or D, lost through respiration and excretion. So it is D. Let's go to number seven. Which of the following statements about recycling manufactured materials are true? One, less energy is used in the manufacturing of new products by using the raw materials from recycled products. Two, some manufactured products can be recycled. Three, recycling of some non-biodegradable materials pre prevents landfill sites from filling up too quickly and for a long time so seven it would be one and three only so that would be b eight replanting trees on a bare hillside is an example of a restoration and preservation b reforestation and restoration c conservation and afforestation or d preservation and conservation this is a repeat question we know it is B. Nine says, 
human activities would have the least immediate impact on a the formation of fossil fuels b coral bleaching c overpopulation d eutrophication the answer for nine would be a let's go to number 10. the greatest threat to the survival of coral reefs is a increased dissolved oxygen levels b increased ocean temperatures c decreased greenhouse gases d decreased nitrogen levels it is b increased ocean temperatures let's go to number 11. item 11 refers to the following graph of population growth this question is a repeated one too Phase four of the graph of population growth is most likely due to A, competition from invasive species, B, adequate food and space, C, a high natural birth rate, D, disease resistance. So it is A, competition from invasive species. Let's go to number 12. It says, when compared to a cheek cell, a muscle cell contains more. This is another repeated question. We know it is C, mitochondria. Item 13 refers to the following diagram of a cell. Four parts, they are labeled. Which of the labeled structures is responsible for controlling cellular activities? So we know it is D, 4 at 4. Go on to number 14. Which of the following comparisons of the cell wall and cell membrane is incorrect? A, the cell wall found in both plant and animal cells, cell membrane found in animal cells only. B, freely permeable, differently, different, differentially permeable. C, contains cellulose, does not contain cellulose. Or D, found in plant cells only found in both plant and animal cells. So this is B. 15. Item 15 refers to the following apparatus set up as shown below. So what can be done to cause the level of solution in the Petri dish to rise after 20 minutes? A, add five grams of sugar to the distilled water in both the Petri dish and potato. B, add 5 gram of salt to the distilled water in the petri dish only. C, add 5 gram of salt to the distilled water in the potato only. Or D, add 5 gram of sugar to either the petri dish or potato. It is C, add 5 gram of salt to the distilled water in the potato only. 16. Item 16 refers to the following table which shows the results of food tests performed on three food samples, X, Y, and Z. So it says, so on food sample X, the test and observation, violet color with sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate, Y, blue back precipitate with iodine, Z, orange precipitate when heated with Benedict's reagent after hydrolysis. reagent after hydrolysis all right so the samples x y and z respectively most likely contain so is it a in x it is protein in y it is starch and in z it is non-reducing sugar so the answer is d let's go to number 17 so item 17 refers to the following diagram, which shows a xylem vessel. Now, it says, the major feature that is responsible for the rigid structure of the xylem vessel is, is it A, lignin, B, cell wall, C, space in the cells, D, gap where two cells meet? The answer is A.
Item 18 refers to the following diagram, which represents a metabolic process carried out in plants. This is another repeated question. It says the food produced is, we know it is B, glucose. Let's go to number 19. So item 19 refers to the following diagram. Which of the following statements best accounts for the shape of the graph? A, as photosynthesis rates increase, there is a decrease in carbon dioxide levels. B, as light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis also increases until a stationary phase exists when denaturation of the enzyme occurs. C, as light intensity increases, there is an increase in photosynthesis until there is no further increase in the rate due to some other limiting factor. D, as carbon dioxide levels gradually increase, there is a similar increase in the rate of photosynthesis until a plateau phase exists where no further increase in carbon dioxide results in any further increase in photosynthesis. So we know that is C. That is another repeated question. Let's go to 20. A 50-year-old male is advised by his doctor to pay special attention to the amount of salt in his diet. He probably has a high chance of developing A, obesity, B, diabetes, C, hypertension, D, cardiovascular disease. So we know this is C, hypertension. Go to number 21. So item 21 refers to the following diagram of a tooth which has four labeled parts, 12, 21, sorry. Which option correctly identifies the structure labels one, two, three, and four? So we know at one, we have the enamel is at one, then we have the dentine, then we have the pulp, then we have the capillaries. So the answer would be A. Let's go to 22. So item 22 refers to the following diagram of the respiratory system. Labeled four parts again. This is another repeated question. Which of the label parts represents a rib cage? We know it is a 2B. Move to 23. So here we go. So item 23 refers to the following diagram. Right now we see our red blood cells there as shown in the picture. The respiratory structure shown above is that of so is it, so A, an alveolus. Let's go on to number 24. It says, which of the following is an effect of nicotine found in cigarette smoke? A, increased heart rate. We need not go any further. There is our answer. Let's go to number 25. The events listed below are involved in the clotting of blood. This is another repeated question. One, fibrinogen is converted to fibrin. Two, blood cells are trapped. Three, platelets are activated. Four, damage to blood cells, blood vessels. Which of the following is the correct sequence of activities? So we know it is damage to blood vessels. Then we have platelets are activated. Then we have fibrinogen is converted to fibrin. And then finally, blood cells are trapped. So D would be your answer. Let's go to number 26. In heart bypass surgery, an artery is advantageous over a vein to bypass the blockage because A, arteries have thicker, more muscular walls than veins. B, veins allow blood to flow in one direction. C, arteries carry blood away from the heart. D, veins carry only deoxygenated blood. 
So we know it is A. Arteries have thicker, more muscular walls than veins. 27. Which of the following options best identify some of the transport substances in animals? 1. Amino acids. 2. Hormones. 3. Glucose. So we know the answer is all of them. 1, 2, and 3. D. Let's go to number 28. In the transport of solutes in the plume, the source is defined as any area of the plant where. So the answer for 28 is C. Let's go to number 29. Artificial immunity can best be described as immunity. Is it A? Acquired from the body's natural defense against disease. B. Produced by deliberate exposure to a pathogen. C. That has been passed on from mother to child in the uterus. D. That has been passed on from a mother's colostrum. So the answer is B. Produced by deliberate exposure to a pathogen. Final question for part one. So item 30 refers to the following diagram of a mammalian kidney nephron. So, which option correctly identifies the function of the parts labeled 1, 2, and 3? So, 1 is ultrafiltration. Then at 2, we have selective reabsorption. And 3, water conservation. So, B would be our answer. So, there you have it. We have come to the end of the CSEC Biology, May, June 2019, Paper 1, Part 1. Make sure to subscribe to know when Part 2 is out. Thanks for watching.